Hey guys, it's Joy here and welcome to my March monthly reset routine. Today we are going to be resetting for the month of March. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe down below and also follow me on TikTok because I'm doing daily videos over there and there's just tons of, tons of fun stuff going over there. So let's get into the video. So first I wanted to reflect on my February goals and then set some March goals. So looking last month i actually set goals on my ipad but i cannot find my ipad pencil for anything so i'm just going to do pen and paper today um in february my top goals for the month were uploading twice a week on youtube um i also wanted to do my peloton three times a week and i also just needed to stay on top of all of my various to do's um I say I did good with uploads and content in general because I did do a lot on TikTok and then I started doing some YouTube shorts so I think those did really well. Um, I did not do my Peloton three times a week so that's something that I'm gonna reevaluate um, for this month and just staying on top of my to-dos I did a really big overhaul of my daily routine. I basically made a huge list of all the tasks that I need to get done within a week based on my job, based on caring for my new home, I guess I'm a homeowner, um, and my business and content. And then I split those into tasks that are similar and every day now I have a set of tasks that I do like clockwork. So getting into that routine I think was a very nice thing that I did for myself last month. So in my digital planner, I have some reflection questions. So the first one was, what were your big wins for the, this month and how do I plan to keep the momentum? So for February, I would say my big wins were kind of just getting organized and setting a daily routine. I think in March, the big thing is going to be, you know, making all of those things habits and like really getting used to starting the day and then looking at those tasks that have to get done every day. So that the week, at the end of the week, I can look up and be like, yep, I worked on all aspects that I needed to. I would say February also, I really just got organized with my business. I moved a bunch of inventory um, closer to where I live and that was a very big effort that cost a lot of money. So I'm just glad that the inventory is closer to where I live and that's over with. And the last big thing for wins in February is that I had a Super Bowl party. That was also like a housewarming party with my friends. And I'm just super glad that I did that because I feel like there's never a good time to do a housewarming, but we had a lot of fun. And I, I definitely was on my hostess, hostess-ish. Um, but I'm very glad that that got done in February. Um, next thing for my reflection, what were the aspects of the month that I can improve? So for February improvements, I would say my working out. I feel like that's the hardest thing for me to stay consistent, for, consistent with. Um, and then I feel like my mindset was on a roller coaster. I think YouTube has been such a challenging platform for me in the past couple of years that it's like a cycle where I don't feel like my content's performing, so then I stop being consistent, but then I'm like, Am I, is my content not doing well because I'm not consistent? And so it's like this whole revolution and I really just need to keep my mindset clear so that I can stay consistent I can show up for the audience that I do have you guys and then the growth should come from that um I am going to be doing a lot more YouTube shorts because I have noticed that 
for some reason my long form content just isn't even crossing the mark of where I'd like it to be right now. So I think getting a better content mix and like evolving with the platform should help me see some different results. Yeah, I think overall, and when it comes to content creation and um, my business joyful be, it's super important just not to be complacent and get too comfortable because anything can change. You know, we just, these are like kind of coming back to normal from the pandemic year. So like the past like couple years haven't really been like quote unquote normal. So I think not expecting things to be the way they were and just, rolling with the punches so that you can be agile and be smart about your side hustles and your time is super important. So let's get into March goal setting. So I'm gonna flip the pages in my planner. And we're going to Still referencing my digital planner because I would originally have done this in here, but like I said, I lost my iPad pencil. Okay, so for March, what am I most excited for for the month? I feel very excited about TikTok. Um, I feel like I just never got the right traction with TikTok, but I think I'm got a little strategy going and for March I'm really excited to see if I can grow my account as much as I think it could in March. So that's one thing. Um what else for March? For March I think that it's just a month of doing the work for me. Um, I think I just need to have a good month of consistency, following that daily routine I mentioned earlier, and just like doing the work. And then what are my top goals for the month? I have a lot of goals for the month. Um, when it comes to content, I definitely want to do daily TikToks. And I feel like I have good momentum with that. That's something that's been in almost every reset, but I feel like I'm finally catching on the habit of doing it. Um, so I want to keep that momentum. I want to at least do two YouTube videos per week, and that includes YouTube Shorts. Um, and I want to, you know, for my business Joyful Bee, I want to do a marketing campaign and just get momentum back up there. So if you're interested in supporting my hair care brand Joyful Bee, go to joyfulbee.com and support your girl. Um, when it comes to health, I have a few goals, so I need to be consistent with going to the chiropractor. I need to use my Peloton because they're charging me a monthly fee to have access to all the classes. So I'm going to keep the three times a week goal and just be like, no excuses, just get on that thing. Um, and I think there's opportunities where I can get on at when I have like super long meetings or like before bed or when I wake up. I just need to figure out the best time for me. Um, and I also want to just be healthy because it's about to be spring, summer. So I want to make sure that I am feeling self-confident with where my body is and all that stuff. Then I have some boring things like taxes to do. I need a new um, retainer because I lost mine. So I gotta make sure I order that. And uh, yeah, that's basically <laughs> what I can think of for now as far as March. March is all about doing the work, being consistent. And also there's a few life things in there, but 
it's gonna be a calm month because april i have some travel may i just can't think that far but i know that march is pretty a, much a straightforward month for me so those are my goals for the month i hope you enjoyed this reset routine if you want to see how much i spent in february i have a tiktok for you to watch that's usually a section i include in this video but i'm gonna force you guys to go to my tiktok and see how much i spent based on my budget for the month in February. I'll have that video linked down below. So go engage with my TikTok, follow me over there, and you can see the rest of the reset there. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.